today's satsang message how the gratitude completion enriching is all one and the same is just nothing but the right context towards everything in life see if you have a right context even towards pain pain feels like acid wash if you have the right context even towards the sufferings sufferings feel like straightening out you straightening you out purifying you i tell you just the right context to life is what is all we need ability to be in the right context is enlightenment once when i was a boy maybe 13 or 14 i don't 13 14 after my enlightenment so must be 13 14 same way like this once kuppamma my guru mata she applied mehandi on my feet and it did not go and for quite a long time maybe one month it is it did not go she herself sat and with a coconut fiber she was cleaning my feet and to remove that mehandi then raghuvir yogi walked into the scene he just came to the house and he said what a funny thing guru is doing pada puja to disciple <laughs> and that deep joy and the gratitude i was carrying for the amazing love they radiated towards me and then their ability to give me the tremendous feeling connection such ordinary moments still is there alive in me so alive so green after going through such a powerful psychologically altering physiologically altering experiences i can tell you my whole dna is different even the dna is no more the dna which was there before 20 after 21 the dna started changing and 20 second it completely became different even my physiology is not the same even after going through such wild in a way terrorizing experiences life altering transformative experience still those moments i spent with them see now the incident i narrated there is nothing big in it because she was not just my guru she was my grandmother in a way distant relative and my grandmother's close friend my grandfather and kupumal's husband she was married for some time in her life after that she lived as sanyasini she took sanyas and lived as sanyasini but the husband never divorced but husband lived like a serving her taking care of her not in the same house he will live in some other place but he will come and go and provide all the things needed he lived like a disciple so the our husband and my grandfather both were business partners it's not that something is rare that she washing my feet the incident itself is not that big but the amount of gratitude they were able to generate in my system the amount of feeling connection they were able to awaken in my system is still alive 
still alive. It is a very small incident. She was sitting and washing the feet, saying that this mehendi is not going. In those days that hibiscus flower and the shigakai powder, these two they will mix and wash the skin. She was washing the feet and I was actually grumbling, telling you don't have any work, you will do all this and I have to sit patiently for you to clean up. I still remember. Till the age of 13, 14, morning I will sit and she will put the oil on my head and give me a head bath. <laughs> God saved us. We were not in the society. We were in the society where this concept of child abuse never existed. So we were able to enjoy the beautiful grandmother, grandfather, aunt, uncle, all the relationships so beautifully without even having the ideas of corruption in our head. She will pour the oil on the head and the funny thing is she will chant all the slokas which they chant during the Abhishegam. Until she finishes the whole sloka she will be pouring the oil. And it will be going all around. <laughs> the action itself is not something big. But the context they are able to create. See, in all your cases, one guru, many disciples, you guys are sitting. In my case, it was always the other way. One disciple, four four gurus used to sit with me. <laughs> four five gurus will sit. <laughs> and one disciple pampered by many gurus. <laughs> it will always be some four five sadhus. Kuppamal Raghavad Yogi on Narayana Swami Tata is an old man, a good sadhu but not an enlightened being, but a person with a lot of yogic powers and of course Ram Suratmar and Namalai Swami all of them are like guest professors, guest lecturers <laughs> various other sadhus who come and go Babas, sadhus, siddhas as you all know that Arunachala the temple town of India Hundreds of sadhus would come and go. Actually, if I narrate the incidents, you won't find something big or extraordinary. Like what I said now. A grandmother washing a grandson's feet because that mehandi is not going. There is nothing extraordinary about it. But I don't know how I will make you guys understand uh, the context they created in me. The gratitude they were able to generate in me. Just by the gratitude they were able to hold me. I tell you, just by the feeling connection they were able to hold me continuously in that higher space. So there is no struggle at all from my part. I wanted this to be on record for the future. I do not hold myself responsible even for a zero percent that me flowering as an incarnation. Please listen. I am making it very categorically. I am putting this statement. I don't hold myself as a reason or responsible or as a contributor of me becoming incarnation even 1% or 0.00001% because the amount of gratitude they were able to generate in me the amount of feeling connection they were able to generate in me it just helped me floating. It just kept me floating, floating, floating in that higher space continuously. See, I do care for disciples, no doubt. But I don't
don't know whether we are able to make the disciples understand I do care for them. They were successful. My gurus were successful in an unimaginable way. It's not that I have not had arguments with them, I have not fought with them, but I never broke from them. I never felt myself distanced from them. I never struggled to be a brahmachari. I never struggled to be a sannyasi. I never struggled to do some heavy spiritual practices like yoga from sunrise to sunset or going in the streets of Thiruvannamalai and begging from same the same shops owned by my classmates. My classmates, their father's shops are going big. Because Kupamala said, you have to beg and bring the food, only then your life context will become right. She wants to teach some lesson. The whole credit of me becoming an incarnation me flowering as an incarnation goes to my gurus and mentors. Because of that, their ability to command gratitude, their ability to command love, their ability to spend time with me with tremendous patience and race, I tell you, my mentors and gurus were the example of not giving upon people. Again and again and again, I look back, look at them for more and more inspiration, not to give upon people and to have more and more passions. The amount of passions they showed with me, the amount of time they spent on me and waited for me to come to the context from where they are standing or teaching, the amount of chiseling they have done, the amount of friction they removed from me, the amount of completion they generated in me, I tell you still, when my disciples bring some issues to me, I look back and look at them, how they resolved, how they handled. Understand? That, that strong they are inside me still now then understand the amount of impact they have created on me almost now how many years I don't, I don't know around 20 years because 1994 Kuppam passed away 1995 all of them are over Other than Ram Sotmar, everyone, Annamalai Swamigal, Raghupati Yogi, everyone passed away before 1995. And Yogi Ram Sotmar became inaccessible by 1995. The, the Sangha started growing around him. The organization started happening around him. He became also old because 2000 he passed away, left the body. Over. So 1995, all of them have passed away. Now I think 2013 year. I don't know how many years, 18 or 20 years. You calculate. Still now, just yesterday, one of my disciples brought some problems. Even at that moment, I only looked at them, remembered them, how they will sort out this issue. Because I gave them all types of problems, which you can imagine and you can't imagine. But 
still I remember. Even if I shed ocean of tears, I cannot describe the amount of non giving, not giving upon people, the passions they had, the power of not giving upon people they had, but the amount of gratitude they were able to generate in me, the context, the right context they were able to generate in me, and again and again, I was able to come back to that great clarity of their, their passions. The passions of my gurus and the space they created to work for the growth to happen. Even if any one of them are alive in the body, I guarantee I would not have moved out of Thiruvannamalai. Even now, if any one of them are in the body, I would not have moved out of Thiruvannamalai. And the Sangha would have been bearing their name. Sangha would have been having them as a center. I don't know. That is the reason maybe they all left the body much earlier. Right context towards the life and the amount of gratitude they were able to generate in me. I tell you, only if I can generate that gratitude in all of you, that amount of that friction free space in all of you, that amount of completion in all of you, I can say that I am Guru. I can claim I am a Guru of Jivan Muktas. I have created Jivan Muktas. See my natural, my default cognition was feeling connection with them. Only as a problem I had some fights, incompletions. But my default cognition was a strong gratitude and completion and feeling connection with them. I can say just by making me one person blossom they all have contributed unimaginable to the world. They may, may not have bothered about the quality, quantity, the number, but they were really successful in quality. Of course, it is not that the quality and quantity are always opposite. Many times, it's our laziness that shows the quality and quantity are opposite. If you have to do a high quality job, it has to always be a small number is a myth. And they also never believed in that myth. And I also don't believe in that myth. After so much of reading, evolving, developing, creating philosophies, still I look back towards them for solving even a one problem brought by my disciples then understand the amount of completion they generated in me the amount of feeling connection they generated in me the amount of the, the impact they created in me